So, Scientist 2, I was thinking maybe you'd want to help me continue to do Deathless. What do you think? Absolutely unacceptable. You'll be hearing from my union representative. Okay. Well, how does speedrunning the whole game sound? Yes! Oh, if only we could finish now, but we must be patient. All right, if that's what you think. Faster, faster! Hmm, I like the way this guy thinks. It's that time of year. I'm feeling speedrunning. One of my viewers suggested an any percent speedrun of Empires of the Undergrowth. Seeing as Deathless is... super easy... The ants must protect the queen. I opted to instead try the speedrun. Problem is, there aren't any submitted runs for this. There are only three runs for any percent in the 0.2 version, but that was before tier 4. Now, we're in 0.3. There are no runs, and I have an opportunity to create a good run that could be a monster to beat. Seeing as I'm a pretty experienced player, this couldn't be that hard. So without further ado, let's dive into it. The rules for this run are as follows. Time starts on the first frame in the Formicarium and ends on the last frame as Formicarium Challenge 4 ends. Levels may be completed on any difficulty and in any order available. No bugs or cheats allowed. This means that there are technically only four required levels, being each Formicarium Challenge. My job is to try and complete these levels on easy with the least amount of levels done before them to minimize the time I take. First, I choose Subjugation. It is shorter than New Home and gives the same reward. I choose the easy difficulty because it's the easiest. After an easy win, I select Jelly option and return to the Formicarium. Royal Jelly is my primary resource in this run, that I utilize to purchase new ants and upgrades. After subjugation on easy, I don't actually have enough jelly to purchase the black ant, but I'm really close. Sadly, I have to complete another level, as I don't want to invest jelly into worker upgrades for this challenge. After some testing, I figure out that subjugation on hard will give exactly 75 jelly, which is the required amount for the black ant. The thing I did not know is that subjugation takes about the same time to speedrun on any difficulty, and to top it off, I got the world record in one of my runs. I'll take it. Upon returning to the Formicarium, I can immediately purchase the Black Ant and begin production. Five to six workers are fantastic to make, speeding up the nest creation. Once about half of the food outside is collected, I begin the challenge. This is to start it early, saving time. Although some of the early Black Ant waves are dicey, I can push through with good respawns. When the sustained flow begins, I've won. Just make sure to attack switch when the adult beetles come in. Now is the part of the run that gave me the most trouble. I want to complete Formicarium Challenge 2 without doing an additional nature level. This is possible because of the rewards from Formicarium Challenge 1, but it's not easy. I get 120 jelly to spend, and I must spend it wisely. First, I try getting level 3 black ants with Dangerous, but this failed miserably. It all falls apart when the spiders invade my nest. An idea popped into my head to use Royal Guard instead, when the spiders attacked the queen. When the spiders attacked my queen, hopefully the guard would save me. It didn't. Royal Decree was slightly better, but still didn't work. Although this one attempt was incredibly close. The ranged wood ants are laser focused on the queen, and even though there are black ants attacking them, they will still target the queen until she's dead. Through many attempts, I ended up landing an old reliable. Meat wall for my soldiers and efficient brood for my workers. By pulling back to the queen for the spiders, I can kill them before they even reach the queen. After disposing of the spiders, I can gain control of the situation and execute the remaining enemies.
finally, on to the leaf cutter levels. It may be possible to complete Formicarium Macarium Challenge 3 with only one leaf cutter level, but the third challenge is often regarded as the most difficult one, so I opted to do the frontline speedrun twice. This is possible because the frontline speedrun is the quickest one in the entire game. No other campaign level takes five and a half minutes, even on easy. Frontier in search of live prey for the horde. If they find anything of significance, they will call for reinforcements. The army ants have arrived early. They will likely give this area a wide berth until it's time for them to relocate their nest. Against impossible odds, the soldiers of the Two quick frontline speedruns leave me with just a little bit of time added and tons of food. After building up my formicarium nest and collecting food, I begin the formicarium challenge. Even with double the resources, I still somehow manage to mess it up and things aren't off to a good start. Ideally, I rush into their nest and hold them in a choke point with rapid fire, but I was just too slow. This leads to a time-consuming tug of war back and forth. Eventually, though, the counterpart colony has ran dry of resources, and the absence of royal guard on the easy difficulty makes this cleanup a cinch. Now onto the new tier 4. Cold Blood wouldn't take too much longer than a bridge too far, but any time is good time. The easy speedrun on a bridge too far is around 9 minutes, so I enter, rush all the food I can, and escape the mound. Unless it decides to land in their way. False bombardier larvae are burrowing through the earth surrounding the nest. They are already and as night approaches, the water begins to creep closer. The new arrivals will rush to higher ground, heading straight for the nest. There is nowhere else to go. By joining their bodies together to form a giant raft, the f Now I purchase the fire ants. Fire ants are critical to killing the titans for a number of reasons. First of all, fire ants are simply the best ant in the game. No other creature or ant composition can stand up to them in bulk. Here is an example of pure fire ants against the previously best composition in the game, level 3 taunt and stun majors. Secondly, fires are excellent creatures for mounting, dealing greatly increased damage above others like black ants and majors. They deal even more damage with the sure-footed ability, increasing this further. Finally, they provide a bonus to damage per hit to all rapid fire on the ground, allowing for crazy damage. With vigorous fire ants and as many rapid fire as I can muster, I can burn down the hermit scorpion. I kill the left twin and then leave the twin on the right with literal three digit HP when I run out of food, causing a small time loss. Wonderful! Both champions bested! And then burn down the Dragantula, leading to an easy win and a successful speedrun. This leaves me with a final time of 1 hour, 25 minutes, and 10 seconds. This time is obviously first place because there's no other run, but more importantly, it's a significant improvement from my previous run, which took place even before Fire Ants. I'm confident it will take anyone a long time to conquer this run. I dare anyone to try. With that said, I'd like to thank all of you for watching, and I dare you to subscribe and like. I'll try and get Tier 2 Deathless out soon. Peace.